as promised, here's the tutorial for playing VR wirelessly with just your Steam Deck and your Quest 2 using ALVR. But before you do this, I recommend checking out my previous video where I share what playing VR on the Steam Deck is like using this exact method. Because you might not want to go through the trouble, however, if you're like me, it doesn't matter because we can. My name is Kaz and I make videos about VR that's free to watch. All I ask you is to like this video and comment down below as the that supports us tremendously. First, this is what you need your Steam Deck Quest 2 with the developer mode enabled and I also recommend using a keyboard and mouse as you'll be typing many commands. Now the Steam Deck runs a modified version of Linux called Steam OS. If you've never done anything with Linux before, you might find this a bit technical, but I will try to explain this the best I can. Just make sure to follow every command exactly as I type it, including all capitalizations, hyphens, etc. I'll also paste the these commands in the description below so you can also copy and paste them to make sure it's correct. Now let's go to step 1. Download ALVR on your Quest. For this tutorial, I assume you already know how to sideload on your Quest 2 or 1 and if you don't, you can watch my other tutorial on it which is uh, linked below. When you're done with that, download and install the ALVR client on your Quest 2. You can find it on SideQuest. Just ensure that you're getting this ALVR Quest build and not the nightly build. While you're installing, give me a quick minute to talk about this video sponsor. My beautiful glasses wearers, don't try fitting glasses in your VR headset because you get three disadvantages instantly, discomfort, risk of scratching the lenses and less view to view. Solve this by using Midmo VR custom made prescription lens adapters instead. They are the perfect fit, snaps on and off easily and they're the best quality as they come from German manufacturer Rodenstock who has only been making lenses ever since 1877. And that shows we've been actually using their adapters for years and they never failed on us. There's something for everyone as they make lenses for all major VR brands plus if you don't have a prescription you can also get the Plano to protect just the most important element of the headset. Click the link below for a special 5% discount. Now let's continue to step 2. Preparing your Steam Deck. Get your deck out and hold press the shutdown button and select switch to desktop. Connect your keyboard and mouse if you haven't yet. I use this Bluetooth keyboard so that I can keep my uh, Steam Deck connected to the power. Now, we need to install some things, but we need to prepare the Steam Deck before we can do that. So open the console with a K. If you open the menu, it's under system or just type it in the search field and it will open SteamOS's terminal. If you haven't already, you have to set your root password. So type passwd and it will ask you for a new password please remember it as you're gonna need it then still in console we need to disable the steam deck read only mode so type this keep in mind that this could reset if SteamOS gets an update and you might need to rerun this command but when you run it it may also ask you for a password which is the password you just created so we also need to use the arts linux package manager called pacman to install stuff on SteamOS. but for that to work we need to run two things first then run once that's done you should be able to install stuff with pacman so let's move to step three install Gromium. ALVR launches via a Gromium based browser. So that's the first thing we'll install with Pacman. So use this command. When it asks if you want to proceed, you just type Y for yes and then wait for it to finish. Step 4. Download library files for ALVR. The ALVR build we're currently using is missing two library files. So for this, you can use the Firefox browser, which is pre-installed. Go to the Google Drive link in the description, download the zip file and place it anywhere you want. It should go to your downloads folder by default. Just open that folder, then right click the zip file and uh, extract it by clicking extract here. Now right click anywhere in the folder and select open terminal. Console will then launch with the current folder path. We have to move the two files we just downloaded to the user library folder. So you can use these two commands for it. They should now both be moved to that folder. The last thing we need to run is sudo ldconfig. 
I have to note here that these library files may get removed if the Steam Deck gets updated or you may get dependency conflicts. If anything goes wrong, just remember where you put them because you can always delete them or you can reset your Steam Deck to its stock OS pretty easily. Step 5 install steam vr no worries we're almost done here if you haven't installed steam vr yet go launch steam which is of course pre-installed and then install steam vr from there when it finishes make sure to launch it at least once before you launch alvr it may ask you for your root password again just permit it by filling out your password once it's launched successfully, you can close it again. Step 6. Download and launch ALVR Portable. Now open up the browser again and go to the ALVR releases link. The most recent release should be at the top. I'm currently on version 18.2.2. If you're watching later, you may get a different version. You can try it, but you can also find my version if you uh, scroll further down. Then make sure to download the portable Linux build called ALVR Server Linux Portable. Click on it to download. Now open the folder where you saved it. The easiest way to get there is by clicking at the top right, then the folder icon. Now extract the files by right clicking it, then extract to a subfolder. Open that folder and head to the bin folder. To launch ALVR, you can double click it, but I recommend launching it via console as if something goes wrong, you can uh, see a lock of what is happening. So right click anywhere in the folder and click open terminal here and type dot slash ALVR launcher. Now the ALVR dashboard should be booting together with Steam VR. Wait until it's done. It may take a second before you can click on stuff again. But once it's done, you can maximize the ALVR window with this arrow. Then you can go through the wizard and tweak the settings or follow mine here. Once done, head over to settings, then video, and at the video codec section, select X265. For some reason, 64 doesn't work, for me at least. I haven't spent a lot of time with the rest of the settings yet, so you may get better quality if you tweak it a little later on. For now, head back to monitor, then connection. You can try if it works by finally getting your Quest 2 out and launching ALVR in VR from the unknown sources menu. In VR, you will see that you need to trust your device. So check your Steam Deck screen. You should now see your Quest appear. Make sure to click the trust button next to it. If you do not see your Quest appear, then make sure your Quest and your Steam Deck are both on the same Wi-Fi network. Now in VR, you will see that ALVR is restarting. While it's doing that, it may get stuck and you may need to check your Steam Deck because it may have a pop-up asking about syncs. Just click play anyway here. Steam VR Home should now launch in your Quest 2 running via your Steam Deck. This latest ALVR build even gives you hand tracking 2.0 in Steam VR, and that's pretty cool. Step 7 Audio on Quest 2. Now, this is an optional step. You probably already have game audio via your Steam Deck, and that could be enough, but no sound is coming from your Quest. Too. If you also want that to work, we can uh, use the tool Helvum. First, in the ALVR dashboard, go to Monitor, then Audio. Checkmark Stream Game Audio, and then at the Select Audio Device, pick Jack. Then you can install Helvum in console with the command. Once installed, you can launch it by typing Helvum in the console. You'll see this screen, make sure to maximize it so you can see everything. Now, when you launch a game, it will appear here. For example, I just launched the compound so you can see it appear in Helva. Now you have to drag the two outputs below the game compound into the all side jack buttons here. So output one to zero and output two to one. You're basically drawing lines, so connecting sounds to the right speaker. So once you've done that, you should immediately hear the game sound on your Quest 2. It's pretty easy to do, but unfortunately, you do have to do this each time you launch a new game or app. But that should be it. You should now be able to try out any VR game you can think of even Half-Life Alex. Now this doesn't always work. I noticed it's a hit and miss on the Steam Deck. Sometimes the deck freezes or Steam VR won't launch at all but usually this can be solved by just restarting the deck or my Quest 2 and out of a couple of times it should work at least once. As said before I haven't had the time to tweak the settings 
settings, so you can probably get better quality if you play around with it some more. The dev also mentioned you can try a USB connection, so I will link ALVR's GitHub and also their Discord down below so you can check them out. I hope this was helpful to you. Please smash that like button if it did and let me know in the comments below because that helps us a lot with the YouTube algorithm and makes us happy reading your comments well most of the time. Thanks for being here and a special thanks go to our current champions especially those in shining armor and as always we are